Hi, my name is Damon Marotti, and I am the lead trainer and technical consultant for SoundOff Signal. Today, I'm very excited to talk to you about our new 500 series control system and siren amplifier. The 500 is a combination project that started with what we had before with Blueprint. We had a 400 series amplifier and a central controller. But what we did is we took that and combined it into one unit. So now the 500 control system is that. It's the control system that has Blueprint in it and it has your siren functions and it handles so much more than that. So what's that mean for you? Well, it's 100% programmable using your inputs, your outputs, and your logic-driven matrices. It has 15 solid-state fuseless outputs that can control all your flashing functions, and it also has five relay-driven outputs for things like your computers or your printers or power distribution harnesses if you wanted to control them. The solid-state outputs allow for on-the-fly pattern changes, low-power functionality, cruise mode functionality, or even something more advanced where you have a flash pattern that's flashing over a cruise mode function. Additionally, you have the ability to control a light bar by just plugging it right into the 500 series amplifier. Now let that one sink in for a second. No breakout box. In fact, we give you two separate light bar channels. So you can take one light bar, plug it into one channel, take the other light bar, connect it to the other channel, and now you've got distinct control over each of the channels separately for up to two light bars. And if two light bars is not enough for you, you still have the option to go back to external type breakout boxes, meaning you can control three or more light bars, but you also can use your light bars for inputs into the Blueprint system. That gives you that discrete connection to the vehicle where you have a wire to wire connection. But speaking of that, the 500 series control system has eight discrete inputs of its own in addition to what your breakout box might provide you. And each of these inputs is going to give you the capability to do a positive signal, a negative signal, or process more advanced signals that might have pulse width modulation coming in from the vehicle. Now, just like the central controller, the 500 series amplifier can handle up to two control panels, blueprint link, blueprint sync, you can add an input node as well, or five remote nodes. So all of that said, this system can process input information from up to 129 different inputs, and it can deliver up to 325 amps of power over 70 outputs. So now, let's talk about SoundOff Central Blueprint Programming Software. SoundOff Central is our newest software product that allows for customization of light bars and blueprint control systems. It's a new and fresh interface that provides some new additional features not present in the old generation Blueprint 3 software. Let's start with automatic detection of hardware. A simple click of a button will automatically detect connected devices to the system and populate them in your program. We also added a new function for automatic naming of your outputs. So all you have to do now is add a, a light to the vehicle, and it's gonna put it in this place called the parking lot. And what you do is you just drag it from the parking lot to wherever it's going to go. And once you place it, it's gonna automatically name it based on the location of where you placed it or last left it. And you can still give it a custom name if you wanna go that route as well. Now inputs and outputs are treated as objects as opposed to the actual wires that they're connected to. And what I mean by that is they're fluid. So if you built a program in Blueprint in the past and you made a mistake, like let's say you got a couple wires crossed, you'd have to go through and fix all your mappings and everything else. But with SoundOff Central, all you have to do is just go back to the light and reassociate which outputs are tied to that specific light and it will handle all the output mapping for you behind the scenes. And the same works for an input. So if you need to move a couple input wires around, you can do that and all the mapping stays intact it doesn't break and you don't have to go back and reprogram a bunch of different input output relationships. In the previous version of Blueprint, to control something like a tricolor light, you'd have to toggle between two different outputs to control which color is actually flashing. And sometimes it's turning one on, turning the other off. But with SoundOff Central, 
All you have to do is tell the software what color you want it to flash, and the software handles all of the mapping and the special programming behind the scenes. Now, if you remember earlier in this video, I talked about 129 inputs and 70 different outputs. That's a lot to deal with. Now, if you weren't using all of that, well, when you build your program, the software will actually hide the stuff that you're not using. So now all that noise is not in the way anymore and it makes for an easier programming experience. Now we added some new features to our matrices as well, specifically three that I'm gonna talk about today. The first one, extended matrices. In the past, you had a limit of four input conditions for matrix. Well, if you're using an extended matrix, you now have eight input conditions and you can also group them differently and put specific toggles in there to tell like A and B to process differently now than C and D, something new to our matrix functionality. On top of that, we also added this really cool feature called latching. Latching allows a matrix to be turned on by a couple conditions and then it will stay running regardless of those two conditions. Now in the past you had to write a matrix and you'd have to basically tell it to loop itself. Now all you have to do is hit a toggle and it's done. And finally, we added a third condition that allows you to take like a momentary signal to turn a matrix on and use that same momentary signal to turn it off. So you can create a matrix that latches with something like a push button. That's great for things like dome lights or starting and stopping a camera from, you know, remotely from the vehicle. Pretty cool stuff. But I saved my favorite feature for last the new and improved Blueprint Diagnostics that come with SoundOff Central. Now, Blueprint 3 had some pretty awesome diagnostic capabilities. You could see the whole backbone of the system, every single input, every single output. But we kind of took that model and we made it better. Now you can see what you used to see there. And additionally, you can also just drill down to a specific component. So if I wanted to look at just what was on my remote node number one, I can do that just by clicking on remote node number one, and it gives me full descriptions of everything that's on that node. As well as if I click on one of these, I can also see what's controlling that particular output. Very cool stuff, and the same works for an input. If I click on an input, I can see all the outputs that it's affecting. Very cool stuff. And then on top of that, we added this new mode called persistence. Now persistent mode, what it does when you turn it on, is it now will show you every single input and every single output that triggered while it was active. So if I were to say turn this on and then trigger an input, it's gonna show that that input triggered and it's gonna stay showing until I go turn off persistent mode. That has gotta be one of the coolest debugging tools there is. It'll allow you to find out if you've got a, a matrix that's not working properly or why it's not working properly. Uh, it'll, it'll allow you to, to see if you had an input trigger and your outputs are working properly. I mean, everything. There's so many different things you can do with that particular mode. And all of this also works with the Blueprint central controller. So you can take an old central controller system and you can upgrade and write a new program for it and it's pretty cool. So there you have it. Two new pieces of sound off awesomeness. If you want to check out the 500 series control system, give us a call and we'll put you in touch with the right person. The phone number is at the bottom of the screen. However, if you want to check out SoundOff Central, it's available now. Go to the dealer portal, log in with your Blueprint credentials, and you can just download it and get going on it right away. Super cool. I think that's all I have for today. So until next time.